tripping. I thought I was tripping. You were tripping. I was like, did like, you have a handful of water in his hand? Yeah, it's hot as fuck, though. Fan ain't cutting. Well, I mean, it's not pointing towards this because of the noise. But, I'm about to wrap it up anyway. Because the only thing I want to ask you, other than that, If you could be in control of anybody's battle rap career, who would you who would you manage? Like whose battle rap career do you just look at like Oh I just wish um, I could be dealing the cards over there? Established or unestablished? No matter. Anyway. Because I don't know who y'all half the time I don't know what none of these people's background situation is. I'm really That's a fan. A good question. And I try to keep myself up. That's a really good question. Um, damn, that's a good question. That's tough. Um, because a lot of the guys that I would say I feel like are in good hands already, I just want them to get their just due. It don't matter if they're in good hands already. It's just like if you, if you, who do you feel like if you was Pete? Who would you be like? I, I need that one. I'm taking it. I'm taking that one. Oh, like how was that P position? Yeah. Like oh, if you should take the job. It'll be she. Yeah. Every time. I she she is She is like the next nigga. Like I, I really hope people see what's going on, but he's the next nigga. Like I think how we look at Nitty, we gonna look at she like that. You know I think saying? I said that though. I said that like she is like the newest entry into that genre of battle rap. People don't realize that battle rap is not just a genre. It's not like rap, hip hop, R and B, battle rap. Battle rap is the industry. Mm-hmm. And then there are like there genres are so in the industry. Yeah, so it's like you're in the battle rap industry and it's like who are you? Oh, that's a puncher, that's a steamer. That's the game. And everybody brings That's something it. different. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, and I think she is coming in on the internet and whatever. Who do you think uh, came in before she? Like, the direct comparisons would be like Bill Collector and Daylight. Really? Those are like the direct comparisons. I'm not talking about the exact so like career thing, so, but the same lane. Okay, there so was Daylight, so there was Bill Collector. There was Bill Collector, so there was. Yeah, I, I want to say she, but I don't want to say that in a way where it's is like it a gap that big. He birthed it. Yeah, it is definitely. Bill Clark has been around for a long time. No, no, no. I'm saying in the in the world of entering battle rappers, after they you know get enough visibility, entering them into there because that's the same place that Danny lived. Danny lived at that same place that Bill Clark lived. Like, um. Or maybe, uh, maybe Danny lives next door because I really think that Danny is more of a puncher than a performer. Yeah, I definitely think Bill Collector lives at the performance house. Bill Collector and Daylight go under just, their category is literally an orthodox. That's their category. And I really don't feel like a lot of battles are an orthodox. But I feel so, like, who knows? I feel like it's just them three. Um, I, I, disaster, I, do you think disaster is an orthodox? Where did disaster go? It's just grind time. Like you know what's so funny? I think that people um And I feel like grind time is a style. Oh really? Low low key, like in a weird way, I think it's a style. That's so you know what? That is like Jersey and the Raptors type of material. Literally it is. Like dang, y'all with grind time did exceeded itself so far that it's become a genre. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's dope. Like, and, and I'm probably the only one who feels that way. Who I don't to think be, people who really. Who else would be in the grind time genre that stepped uh, away from the unorthodox genre? Who else? Who else came? I think some genre? people grew from it. Um, I think Hollow took it and did the best things with it. In my opinion, I feel like Hollow still has a grind time style and has figured out a way to kind of make it work today. 
not to say Diz hasn't, but Diz obviously isn't nowhere near as active. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's going to come off different. It just does. Uh, I think I mean, DNA was in grind time, but DNA has all the way elevation. He's different. DNA is like it's totally different. You know, you know, I never was a DNA fan. Right. I never was a DNA fan. I hated fan. DNA grind time. I hated DNA. Um, when DNA battled King Lopes, if you was at that battle with me, it was so hot. If you was at that battle with me, you would have have. You would have been like, she doing too much. He was going crazy, no, though. because when I say, because when I say, I was back there, like, I almost had to lay on the ground and just, like, ball up in the fetal position because it was just so good. My body was getting over, over, like, exerted from reacting. He was going crazy. Like, I, my scalp was sweating. His third was ridiculous. Oh, it was ridiculous. Like, DNA is amazing. I thought King Lose was really good too. Shout out DNA too because he the reason that my podcast is called Champagne and Chill and not uh, uh not nah. his Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like I wish I would have been able to what's a battle that you wish you would have been in the building for? Hmm. I wish I would have been in the building for Tough, you know what? I wish I would have been in the building for Gotti and Lux. Oh, you wasn't there. I wasn't there. Um, I wish I would have been in the building for. I wish I would have been in the building for Tay Rock and Official. Definitely wish I was in the building. Uh, I wish I was in the building for. Which one? He is a lot of them. I think any Calico battles. I like Calico more than I ever remember to say. I would say Calico and Rock if I had to say Calico battle. Calico and Rock. Yeah, yeah. Um, Man. I wish I would have got to be at a read battle in his prime. He'll battle again. But I'm no, in his prime. I wish, because I like Reed. I like Reed. I like the style. I wish I would have got to like see that in person. Um, I feel this way about Daylight and Rock. Yeah, Daylight and Rock. I think that missing any Tay Rock battle is like a disservice to him. I really feel like that. There's nothing like being in the building. I wasn't at Geechee versus Surf either. Oh. Man. And, and, and I regret that all the time. Nitty and Sean. That was just a crazy weekend. Nitty and that Sean. was like the greatest Nitty and Sean the same part, right? And uh-huh. My God. My God. I wish I was in the building. That battle was so fucking crazy. What was your first um, live battle ever? I went to Cassidy and Goods, but I had to leave. Really? So I don't count that one because I had to leave. So. I want to see Cassidy and Goods. Outside of that, after that, um, I'm just thinking, I'm just talking major events at this point. With the Drake Hall. That was the next major battle I was at. Mm-hmm. Yep, so that's a nice little gap. Look, look, I asked you, what was your first battle? Uh, well, the first, the first one would be, uh, it would be. Oh, it was. Where is an ice pack? Okay. And it'd be that one. Yeah, that was the first one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Flower pipes. We got a 10 piece wing, but we split the flavors. So we got cha cha, that's honey sriracha. And we got what's called a la shaman, that's Cajun foil flavor pipes. I told you this earlier. I, I worked on this trip awesome. I never had nothing today flavor. Yeah, that means I never picked that flavor. Like, like Cajun foil on wings. That just sounds silly. Then we got shrimp tacos. What flavor tacos? I just said shrimp. Oh, I hope you give us the last thing. I didn't tell her that. I didn't tell her. You did. So we got those. It's something else we got. We got some fries. Best fries. Best fries. When I get to a night to work on the trip, we used to ask me about best fries. I used to say they're the best fries. Yeah, they're the best fries. That's some fat shit. Like, like with, with uh, fried chicken nestled atop tossed in flavor. So I can't wait for them to come out. I know they're about to be crazy. Oh, and then I didn't even tell you something. I did order. So I ordered. We got the drinks. Mm -hmm. With belly juice. So that was the blueberry lemonade. But I ordered dessert. I asked her which one should I pick. She said the banana pudding. Banana pudding. Yeah. I'm so glad you picked that. Yeah. I don't eat cobbler. I don't eat that. Well, sometimes they got these cobbler. Sometimes they give it out. I don't have a cobbler. Right. You know, we usually got banana pudding, so we got a full quarter. Early birthday dessert for the girls. Okay, so other than I already know you. Let the people know who you are. Now they see your full of Nah, nah, so my name is Darian, uh, also known as the Battle Rap Doctor. Um, I claim the fame. <laughs> Talk to him, I'm quote, to quote, me. I'm I claim the fame of uh, Twitter Space and Battle Rap. That was kind of our thing uh, with the EFM movement when I was a thing. Shout out to Bum Nitty. Uh, you know, the EFM Twitter Space Battle Rap movement. Uh, we brought Battle Rap to Twitter Space. One of the people. Shout out Weed and Battles too. But uh, I was one of the people who bought, brought Battle Rap to the forefront of Twitter Spaces. Uh, as far as people even rapping to Twitter Spaces, you know, we got people who now crossed over into real shit. You know, shout out to Eunice, you know, Battle Cube you and that's how uh, Abba, shout out to Abba and the Eunice Tune and Two again. It's a lot of straight to Saga, that's how. You know, they did their thing, so. Uh, so you managed both of them or just one? Just you. Just you. I was my friend, so it's like. Who managed I was already? Nobody. He's, he's, he's just doing his own thing. Is that what a free agent is called? Is that you'll have like a. Um, right. That's the thing? Right. Don't really have any representation. I was definitely a free agent. Uh, more so, I think people were directed to not belong to a league. He technically doesn't belong to a league. You know what I'm saying? Was he in a league or was he in a league? He didn't even got no. 
Was he in his legal or was he just a Twitter space? Um, I, I think it was just a Twitter spaces thing where we did battles. It was very unique. Uh, I couldn't call it a league. Ace, Com- Ace, I mean, Ace, I mean, Ace, I mean, kind of brought that up to me. Uh, one time when we referred to it as a league, like, well, I was in the league, I'm not paying things. You know what I'm saying? Give me money on the flow. doing it for free. It do me money on the flow, bro. I think league you know. just means more than a league. Let's be simply. Right. Like, I, mean, yeah. I think no league means like, what the what the walk down look like? Like the walk down look like two groups just walked up on each other and started rapping. Right. You know, like right. I think mean, that's, that's what I feel like it was a it, it was just a movement, man, and it was fun. Like you know, a lot of people right. just it, it was a movement. People wanted to rap. You know, shout out to the professionals that all came out of rap for us. Jack to Jack Dorsey, Bill Clinton was the first one. He got on Eunice. That was like the first big man. It looks like the really is the soldier boy of better. Yeah, nah. <laughs> he is the soldier boy of better. He did everything first. Yeah, like, nah. oh my god. Bill Clinton definitely is one of those niggas that he don't get enough props. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, even battles with Big Rap, they gave him some more than that. He gave him a good shot. I got it. You know, sir. Uh, Rock was a supporter. We had a lot of support. You know, that was like hot, total forward, out of the world. So, um, it was a dope thing. Huh? I shouted out the wet ball. No, you want to shout me out when you were talking about people who were there in the beginning. Oh, well, yeah, you know, Champagne. Shout out, no, 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 no. It's not that. Look, shout out Champagne. You know, Champagne is one of my closest friends, you know, in Battle Rap, especially. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, and she got me drunk. So, yeah, I'm already drunk. But nah, you definitely were. Nah, but work. I think if it was a no-bad movie, it started with Christ and Jimmy Battle. Jimmy Battle. Yeah. 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 I I I was day on in the car. I said, "Oh my God, you probably gonna take a whole shower." Right, because you know, they <laughs> tell me. But not now, like you know. So I, what you doing now? What yeah, you doing now? my biggest thing. I just um. Yeah, if it's split up, it's separated. It's right. This man, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. We we know why. Uh, it is man because I feel like I'm not gonna say it's separated because all of y'all still put each other most. Everybody. I mean, me and Bob, I mean, if you're talking about the no, I'm saying, like, Bob's the artists, the people oh, that were yeah, involved sure. in it, sure. like, mostly, yeah. for the most part, most of y'all are still cool with each other yeah, yeah. outside of the dismantle. I think we felt like the name, I think we feel like the name had to be scrapped because of what came from, the, you know, I don't even want to really get into that, but we know what happened, you know what I'm saying? So, the name kind of just, man. Get away from that. Are y'all everything about rebranding? We we did with TBG, uh, but uh, the bad guy, um, uh, actually started it. was supposed to be like the rebrand, the yeah, so to speak. Um, uh, but we kind of even got back from that. So like, my biggest thing is, you know, I manage battlers. You know, I have Eunice, obviously. Eunice is super hot. Uh, Tomboy, a lot of people, man, I know who he is. I will soon. He's actually um. Battle Bill Clinton's league. So that's going to be dope. That's going to be dope. Yeah, I'm so happy. I think because he was the first one to ever make a league, that's why he was the one to make a league. Bill Clinton do everything first. Like, he did everything first, so he never really gave a fuck about having a league. So nah, I think that's, that's right. so dope that he had a league. He is very inspiring. Like, really, 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 that I work with, you know, I work with Hyde, you know, the guy with him in Twitter spaces. Um, even like with the Opa, like I don't officially manage Opa, but um, I definitely have a hand in a lot of things that I feel like he does with OSBL. That's the league that I work with. Okay, I was just about to ask you that. So, do you have any connection? Because people forget that it don't just be artists. They be involved with a team or have an affiliation with a team. Like, I'm not an artist, but I definitely have an affiliation with a team. Right. Yeah, I mean, with OSBL, so I help with the sponsorships. You know, so I'm on the sponsorship team. 
um, and I pretty much kind of scout them as well. Uh, so we do like open enrollment events or like basic training events. These are things like cards. Pretty much I assist uh, Keith, Sean Keith, in bringing in new talent. Or the league, you know. OSBL is probably the hottest small league in the world. Um, right? Yeah. Female brand, female manage, female produce. I, 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 hey. I don't really want to separate from what you got going on, but I just want to say, you know, uh, crowns, I, think, I, think people, I think females really be making noise in better. Right. Whether anybody chooses to hear it, like, but you're still dancing to the rhythm. And my undermine that, like, Sean Kale is like, this is a woman running literally probably the most powerful small league in period. You know what I'm saying? She happens to be that big. Ace I mean, Swerve of the world, you know, Eunice, the up and comer, Samara Soul, Foots, like, these are all names that you're going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lois Biel is green, talent. These are all names that I heard of before, too. Yeah. Y'all know I can be doing the underground with that face. Yep. Well, it's definitely got that. That's on YouTube right now. That got us fire. You know, Eunice got a few and that's on YouTube. Check that out. I don't know if I Thank check it out yet. Yeah, check it out. Sure. Shout out to Cuban, too, man. Cuban, uh. I love Cuban. Yeah. Oh, my God. You remember yeah. what I told you about Cuban? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I've been yep. pushing to me like, yeah. uh, I'm going to be living my soft girl life here, better. Because where else can you be a soft girl at? Like, there's no reason for no girl to be hardcore in there. The hardcore girls are really hardcore. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and a bitch looking like a daddy will fuck your own And I kind of want to like talk about my soft girl like that. I mean, I want to talk about him some more. Like, he really don't get his just do. I get, you know, certain stuff. I think there's a perception of him that people feel, you know. But outside of that, man, the nigga's talented. He, he's so fucking talented. He's not a chiller. That battle's fucking amazing. It's so. I can't wait to tell it drops. He wants it. It is very debatable. It's been a while since I like to see I used to. Let me not say you used to because, you know, the time will come when all things are actually. When's the last time you seen it? What was the last chiller battle you saw that you liked? Um, chiller versus. <laughs> okay, so. You know, uh, I'm going to catch him here. So, he battled chaos. Who did he battle after chaos? Chaos? I like to be chaos. I like to be chaos. That's who it was. It was chaos. I like to be chaos. What's your favorite chill about from chill? I don't have a favorite chill about it solely because I am outfit biased. And if I don't like your outfit, it'd be so fucking hard to enjoy your battle. I'm not lying. You know the only reason why I remember the table like that is because the fucking last time. The bald head. The little fucking thing that looking like Little Mark. You know, I can't get that out of my mind. So, you know, it's like I can't remember a fucking Marty thing, but one, I remember putting that. That's just me. I'm sorry. One of my favorite chill you know, performances. Shout out to Austin. Shout out Raising the Bar, too, because I just discovered Raising the Bar. That's like a whole other brand. They just be like, you know, I'm going to get you it. They're fucking Raising the Bar, shout out to Marvel, shout out to Marvel. My favorite chiller battle, I think, is this guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Who is your favorite bar in that battle? Let me hear. He had a whole, um, he had a Kanye skin. He had a Kanye skin. For all these different songs, like Vince Twerk. He had a Chris Brown skin. You don't get okay. it. Just no, I love you. I love him. That's why I said, like, I ain't gonna say like a YouTube fan. Any day, if they put him up against the right person, I'm betting no. But, but, I ain't, I ain't never too many opportunities. I'm gonna get. But I will tell you, I'm turning this off. But I will tell you, you've been out. Yeah, you've been out. Oh, you was live. I was there. Oh, y'all was live. You've been out. And Cuban was like, wow. I like Cuban. I like. Um, I like a lot of people from that area in general. You know, like I like all of them. I think that was okay. like a, I think that was like a birthright like, for better. Who's your favorite? Besides Twerk. Right. Yeah, 
writing for sick. I like writing because it's so unexpected. It's so unexpected right now. It's the like. All, all the pieces in there. The reason why it don't hit like it should hit is because it's so hard to sell because he looks so motherfucking innocent. He looked like he didn't do it. You know? Oh my God. Take him out the lineup. Get your son, ma'am. Get the baby. Get the baby. I like Jack. That's my big boy. Yeah. Jack and I, I would have anybody ever like ranked. Or like any any like group in general, you know? Like do they ever like rank in them? Do they say like who's the best person in? Rank the top five. Rank the FB. Alright, so we got a question for you. Yes. Do you know what gun type is? Yes. Do you know what gun type is? Okay. Give it for maybe at number three. You make it a top three. You gotta be important. Here. He has to be in the three. She's amazing. She's three. The five going with easy. Because I want to promote the easy version of Gotti Battle at this time and this place. I want to take this time to shout out what's going on. I want to take this time to shout out Timothy. I want to see it happen. I want to battle. Run it! Run it! Run it! Fucking bag, you are real. I want to see that too. Let me see. Uh, I'm putting Tay Rock as number one and Emma Turk as number two because longevity and consistency matters. And look at us. Longevity and consistency matters. Rocket is probably the best. It matters. I, I, I will have Surf at two. Chest at three, easy at four. Oh my god. So that's why I agreed up and said Chet, um, for Sabi at three because Chet is top three and he's above one. Chess is top three. Chess is above like, one. Chess is baby chest, zero. Chess is baby zero. Chess is baby zero. Get a young female. Get a young female. And he's going to look young forever because he's like you. It's a pony. Oh my god. Chess only like two. He is young. It's like, for, for people that's watching him grow, it's like, when is he not? Like, people still be wondering if he's like, maybe what? He do look like a kid. Yeah. A little kid. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. That's why they use it to bug him. He's going to look young forever. He's going to look like the young female forever. Like, thing. baby is a thing. And it's crazy easy to see like the OG. He's like the OG. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say five. Hemi for Sammy would have only been fighting for five because... You think it's a fight? Well, for the fifth spot in the in the top ten. I, and the only reason I'm going to say it's a fight for me is because she's a girl, and I like her, and I want her to, like, you know, I want to see her rise. I want to see her on the bottom. Yeah, no, is dope. I think the whole group from top to bottom is amazing. I thought that was cool. Can you go get her? Is she about to bring one more? Oh, you can have one of me on camera. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no, you good. Let me see. I'll come right on. Okay. <laughs> but, um, and then Chess is just new to me. Right. He's new to me. I ran into him and had a conversation with him, and I found out that he. Oh. Oh, it's a long time. Okay. So, what we got? We got. Oh, I love these little boxes. Okay, we did not need that hair in your train. It's like the thing. Wait, can you hold this? I like my baby put in real clothes. Okay. Thank you. And let me tell you, my friend really helped me. I can find it. What are we here for? Okay, so we got chocolate. We got cauliflower. Yeah, I want to try them. You want to set the dessert like right here? Oh, I'll set the dessert back to the refrigerator. Oh, okay. I love people to try the cauliflower bites first. And the fries right here. All right, y'all. Who has a ride? Uh, yeah. Like I was saying. Oh, no. Oh. Can I have a 
And that was by the belly spread. Oh, my God. The fries, they just, oh, my God, I love you. Be seen. Be seen. Why you love me like this? In the public. Look, he's happy. He wants the cauliflower by the soda. That's real polypop. No, that's real polypop. I ordered some uh, belly spread and what other kind of sauce you want? Oh, can I have um? You see, that ain't no freezer. Bad boy, cauliflower. That's a real cauliflower. They, they took the head off that necrophage. Got it been all the way over the land something. You know? You know? Right. And it's living with it. And then 12 years later, he is still doing that shit on fire. What? I'm just trying to figure out. Alright, so I still need your top five here All right, I'm ready. It's a lot of them. I'm ready. When we run out the food, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right? It's a lot of it. It's top five. Top five. Five to one. We got it. In the top five spot, the winner is all going to be. I think I want to say real name Randy, but I'm not going to say it. I got another topic. You know who I'm going to say? Terms of and I'm JC. I'm going to say JC is a So, just so y'all know, we got Nest Fries, Fire, Cali Shrimp Tacos. Belly juices. Everything is possible by the way, Mar, you already know what it is. It's fire. So far. It's good. <laughs> I'm Tommy Jones. Yeah. Tommy Jones? What? Hold on, I'm sick of your jeans. I'm on a mattress. I can see what? Hey. That's a lot. This shit's good as that. Only thing I ain't trying is the winners. Try the next fry. Did you get the fry and the chicken? Yes. Yeah. Got them. Got them. I'm like a scoop. We ain't going to do I'm going to dash them with that. Wait a minute. What? If you know, you know, they went back to the They ain't even doing wedges on the show. 
Sorry, you guys. So my top five. Danny, for sure, number one. For sure. I got Calico. I got Nitty. This last one, I'll tell you all. I got She. She had in units. That's actually not surprising. It's one. She fired. Yeah. And he's gonna start being in top five. Like literally. He's gonna start being in the code. He's just ahead of the curve. Right. And I feel like that too, like niggas just don't know no better. And that's fine. But once the world wake up. So many people now are going to try to be like Gotti. 
if they're not already doing it. Um, you know why I like Gotti? People think I like Gotti because he's my friend. I do the same reason you think I love the rich and athletes. Like, I love people say some shit in a way that's like still gangster. You know? Like, man, was that supposed to be a bar or was that an accidental bar? Like, did he even know that that was a bar? Like, that's when I, when I hear him at that time. And the children literally won my favorite battle. <laughs> he was going so crazy. Like, yeah, but he didn't know. And hey, you know what? In that battle, he got on chilling up. That's another good thing about Gotti. Is that I always talk about rapping for your opponent and rapping for your fans. Yeah. Your fans want to hear crip, 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 cuz, 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 gang, bang, gang, bang, die, die, die. <laughs> Your opponent want to hear, see me, see you, split the scene, red, blue, like, <laughs> that's the kind of shit they want to hear. He angled Chiller really well. It was, like, he was angling with the devil. Mm-hmm. Another nigga I like, Ill Will. Everybody love Ill Will. I never really, um, Ill Will is from a, a place in Battle Rap, I call it the gray area. It's kind of like when people... When it wasn't a lot of mainstream battle rap going on, aka it wasn't a lot of URL going on, and people were shining on other platforms, but people like me didn't even really know about other platforms or wasn't really invested in. So I knew about it because I always knew about RBE, I always knew about KLC, I always knew about the book, I always knew about everybody's personal needs and other like little needs that, that was created from like other people. Right, but I never became invested in those friends. I like URL, I invested in it. That was probably the first page I ever put an um, alert for. I like his URL work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't lose a lot. You don't lose a lot. He, I, 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 my I, question is well, now I can't ask the question because now he does. But at that moment in time, he was battling a lot. He was like on a run. To me. I mean, well, no, it's not to me. He was on the run. I mean, Battle Nitty, I had him winning. Battle Gotti, I had him winning. Battle Hive, definitely had him winning. He battled, uh, battled Danny. You know how I felt about Danny. I had him winning. Uh, it, it will just, like, that's the last time you've been on URL, too, just Danny. I gotta check him out a little bit more. I'm so, you know, I am so biased about this. I just think that I never got the opportunity to really like indulge in Ill Will. So I think he's just one of those people I never be gravitating. Like if I see him on card, it's like cool. But if he tee top too. Do I follow him on um, like right. social media? Like do I keep up with him? Yeah. Do I know when he gonna be on the card? No. I it's think like he, I think he carries. He just carries it away. Like you know, you yeah. got problems like that. But your resume mm-hmm. do speak for itself. Like he tee top. Because I always hear his name. Oh, God in heaven, every time I talk to people about battle rap, every time it's a battle rap conversation going on like this, like, you know, ranking and stuff, he's always in the conversation. I've only seen Ill Will really lose to, to me, where I can say, yeah, he bought for sure three people. Tay Rock, DNA, Calico. That's it. Do you think, I know DNA is hard to be, I know k Rock is hard to be. Do you consider Calico a hard to be? Person? Yep. Calico is top three all time. And, and, and I don't think it's really nothing to talk about it. I think Calico, I think, I think Calico be loves. I'm one of those people. I think mean, he be loved. Lux said, people gonna feel the way about that. But, no, 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 no. but that's a, that's a thing. Lux third was just like, so heavy, and it's like that comes that conversation in battle rap where can one round in a battle just win it, and it's like in a sense, yeah. Yes. I really didn't want to talk about it, but you wanted to keep talking about it, so I was gonna yeah. Do. I mean, I gotta be, I gotta be real, like historically, I know this to be a fact, historically, that battle is what created the conversation. Of the two one debate. 
and the one to the baby. Yeah. Because single handed Lux came back. All right. I'm talking like fighting like back on the uh back on the floor. He fighting with feet and hands. Like he just like Way up no chance, bro chance. Like he's just oh my god. Do you think they should rematch? No. I do. One thing I one thing I learned in Better Rap, um, we love no rematches. I love him to death. That's my favorite battle rap. Oh you yeah, for luck's sake more so. Lux is a no rematch type of person. If I was Lux, I'd take that way in it though. The move rematch tarnished his career. Yeah, fuck him up. The move rematch, oh my god, it put something that because of that rematch, people think they can fuck with us. You know that. What's your favorite Lux battle? My favorite Lux battle is Lux and Clint. Both of them. Reason why is because if you know anything about battle rap, then you know that that was a very like good battle. Like it was so good back and forth. The angles were Good. The topics were good. The schemes were great. It was simplified on both parties. Like you don't have to get rocket scientists to figure out what the fuck is going on here. Um, I think they both run character. I think they both run stage presence. It was just a really good. Battle. Outside of my personal top five and shit, clips is for sure top five too. And then I think, uh, if not the best. Yeah. Again, they just the How you feel about Lux and Holla? That's the best. That's like, it might be like the best about that. Mm-hmm. One of them. Only, be, only reason why is because I like, um, uh, what, like, superhero scene is from. But they, like, smoke shoot up in the air and they can fight in the sky. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. That's that. <laughs> That's that shit. Like, that's when a nigga think he going to the moon and a motherfucker met him in the gap. You know, like, that's what that is. So, Could you tell me the best well, battle I've ever seen? Right here, I'll tell you, this one I'll tell you. I'll tell you who battles I watch in four contracts. <laughs> Mm, most popular item you gotta be it's a mess right it's gonna get you full you're gonna have to take some home yeah because y'all don't cheat y'all already don't cheat on the chicken period but y'all boneless chicken is like i told him when he was eating i said make sure you get a fry because you'll think you eat fries and then you ate all chicken like it's so filling and it's so flavorful and then it's the tacos, period, from the black shrimp tacos all day, every day, BC style. Because I know BC only likes to make Latino. Yeah, them shrimp tacos. And he's going to fry every time. And then we got the cauliflower. That was my top three right there. Ain't that what I said? When we said, we we'll said, come here, y'all. No, I said, we cauliflower and tacos. Literally. But the only reason why they say that's right is don't have to take it them tacos might have to be the best thing I'd have had today. Probably the tacos. Them tacos. Right? The tacos. Yeah. Unless you get a shrimp, that's fine. Ooh. I ain't even tell you about that. Right. Yeah. You know what my favorite battle is I've ever seen? Daylight and Rob. Really? It's the best battle ever. Mm-hmm. Sure. I don't know if nobody really expected daylight to do that. Right. That was a super, super costume battle. Battle of the Looks. They came to the stage to showcase. Okay. Um, nobody anticipated. Tay Rock chest and Danny. I cannot sit down and watch that. I be pacing. I be screaming, I be jumping, I be like, like I can't control myself. Like I have to react to every motherfucking part. You ever seen Danny and Chess? 
That's what we want. It was the night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We had. You know, me first day we the damn mafia game. No good. It's a fact. Shout out to the street. Who you had? I know I had Danny the first. I'm gonna be sad. I'm be honest. I'm betting against Danny. There are very rare occasions when I'm betting against Danny. Daddy back to Nitty ain't gonna win the case. And I and I ain't taking them with me because y'all know I'm not But what I'm saying is I know what Nitty gonna do. I got a good idea of what Nitty gonna do. He brought some more to the table that night. He did. He was rebuttal. He was he was he was so he was impressive. We're not deserving. It's awesome for their children. Yeah. Oh, the reason I said I'm ready to be here is because we want to have a good one. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing this. All right. Hey, you guys, we're going to take a brief one, two, three. We're going to pack some new stuff up, get some new shit out the way, get back to the conversation. You already know what type of time we on. We chilling.